Welcome back to Sekiro with me and my wife, Anni. I'm a human again. Oh, yay. So, in the last episode... Uh... Oh, right, we defeated the... I'm just gonna call it, like, I don't know what it's actually called. I'm gonna call it the Bone Lord. Bone Bo Lord. I'm gonna call it Bone Lord Nito. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's exactly the same body shape, you know? Like, look at a picture of Bone Lord Nito and this enemy, and same energy. Uh, so this episode, I want to, like, there's a lot of ways we can go. There's two bosses to take out that I have encountered, but have not actually really attempted. Not seriously, anyway. And then also, I think, three different ways to go. And before I go further down any of those pathways, I want to take care of, take care of as many bosses as I can. The Headless, I can't take care of without more Divine Confetti, so that one's out, which leaves the giant centipede thing that's in here. Wait, is it in there? No. Oh shit, I'm in the wrong place. Yeah, it was like down the bath. I think you go up the bath and then you go down the bath. Oh, down yeah, here. Yeah, there. Oh, look at these flowers. Have I ever been up here, actually? I know I jumped down here briefly to try to see if I can get up somewhere and I couldn't. Actually, I actually don't know if I've explored around no, like... No, you haven't. Oh shit. This might be a thing. <gasps> But yeah. Um, I should also mention that off camera, I try to fight those, uh, you know those people in straw hats, straw a lot of stuff that are super hard. I thought they were mini bosses, but they turn out to be common enemies. Um, they have the double edged, super long sword things. Fought one of them, actually two of them near where that person was who loves race. I went back and I fought those like three or four times off camera just to practice a bit, get a bit of experience while I was... Uh, waiting for something, and... Well, they're definitely still hard enemies, but I feel a lot more confident. You can really just block almost everything they do. They're not that bad. But I was only fighting one at a time, not two or three or four. So when I go back to the main hall in that area where I snuck past, like, three or four, it's gonna be pretty difficult. Yeah. But I can catch them on fire with just one use of the fully loaded, fully charged up, spring-loaded vent. So that helps a lot with taking down their vitality. Those are nasty noises. It sounds like blades being sharpened. It sounds like demonic whispering. Yeah. I remember there were a lot of the smaller centipedes around up yeah. on the rafters, so I want to take those out before fighting the big one, because otherwise they're probably going to be a huge pain in the ass. Yeah. Oh, look at that one try to move, but it can't. Aww. Poor creepy centipede fucker. What's your end game here? I don't know. I don't really have one. <laughs> okay, let's just go up into the rafters and see if anything sees us. Maybe I can get, like, a backstab on the thing. Or maybe it's just gonna suck me into all of its centipede feet if Aww. I do that. <laughs> okay, this is working really well. Actually, this might be the way to kill all the ones in the rafters. So many grapple points up here too, all over the place. Like every little pillar. This is so much different than the last time when you were here and the, everything was on fire. Yeah. I know there. I think there's some enemies down in front, but I don't think there's any reason to touch them. Yeah. I don't think they would come in here. Not doubtful. I wonder if I can grapple up to these rafters after I go down, or if they're out of reach. They might be out of reach. Okay, hold on. What oh, it's the sound of it serpenting its claws on each other. Oh my god, those eyes! Uh. Oh! Oh, that is really disturbing. I've never looked at one this close. Hmm. <clears throat> so is every limb a centipede? Sort of? I guess so, huh? 
Oh my god. <laughs> god. Sorry, touched the mic. Oh, that's okay. Oh great, there's bugs everywhere. I don't- th I think those are just dead people. I don't think those are those things that move and yeah. do stuff. That makes me feel a lot better, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> maybe they are, and maybe there's just eight of them in this room. <laughs> Easy peasy. Okay. Let me see if I can get a backstab on it. Yes! Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh, fuck. Please leave me alone. Leave me alone. Oh, you can go up there. Oh. Damn, it's so fast. I just want to take out the little ones. Jesus. Yeah, so what happens if I go up here? Like, what's it gonna do? Just be mad, I guess. Can't really reach me. Yeah, okay, so I can go up here for a breather, I guess. I could also use this to test out how much this does. Oh shit. Actually started burning me a bit. Oh, it's really burning you. Oh, fuck. Doesn't have many attacks. Doesn't really, no. I think I might have just done it. It's actually not a hard enemy at all, unless it has a special phase. It doesn't. Yeah, its attacks are actually super simple. And because it does them so frequently, if you just do the... Uh, I don't know what it... I forgot what it's called exactly, but like the chained deflection. Uh-huh. You get just a ton of deflections again and again and again, which just ruins their, their posture, you know? Just deflect, 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 deflect. Jump. Deflect, deflect, deflect. It's actually super easy. Yeah. Yellow gunpowder, a prayer bead. Wow. I mean, I just took it out first try. Yeah. Is that the first boss I first tried? No, it's the second boss you first tried. What's the first one that I first tried? Um, the one at the stairs. Stairs. Remind the, me? The, at the top of the stairs. This general. That was holding, like, a speech. There was, like, a bunch of peeps. Oh, yeah, all the archers around him. Yeah. Or gun gunmen, I guess. Black gunpowder? Black gunpowder? It's the place of upgrade materials, I think. Hmm. It was such a gorgeous statue. Yeah. It's kind of funny and disturbing to see like these gorgeous I, I'm assuming this is a religious artifact yeah 
religious artifact is a weird thing to say religious statue um it's weird to see like beautiful religious things like that in this place meant for worship and then it's just filled with piles of bugs and just disgusting things I think we can just like say like religious art <laughs> religious art yeah as a catch all yeah mm. what was that I don't like that <laughs> I think that's it I did it again. That's the second time I've done that. Huh. Like an instant death blow. I was just trying to jump up and do this. Use the combat art in midair. I'm so surprised I did that first try. Okay, well, let me teleport back. Alright, I think there's three ways that I know of to continue. Aside from the headless demon thing that we can't really take out right now, I'm going to continue in the upper tower antechamber. And there's actually one thing I can get with my one skill point. So I'm going to just go ahead and do it because what the heck. It's projected force. After using certain prosthetic tools, allows one to draw the power of that tool into the sword and release it in a forward direction. The specific attack changes depending on the tool used. It doesn't apply to any of the prosthetic tools I have right now, so it's going to do nothing. But eh, it's cheap. Sure. Oh, could I see the description for this before? No. Right, and I had to get this to get this. Which means now I only need to get this one, and then I can get this super skill. Let's actually read that. Allows them to perform a follow-up attack with certain tools that imbues the sword with the tool's effect. The sculptor retired the shinobi prosthetic after developing this technique. He'd gone too far, killed too many. The flames of hatred had begun to manifest... Works with the flame vent and something else. So, based on the picture and the fact that it works in the flame vent, I'd say it probably gives me a flaming sword attack. Yeah. After I use the flame vent, I can get a follow-up flaming sword attack. Only takes four skill points. I mean, that's a lot, but... I mean, some of the normal ones take more than that. Yeah. So, that actually won't be too hard to get. But I need Nightjar slash reversal first. Okay, I haven't fought these enemies in a while. I remember they were fairly challenging. Don't remember much more than that. Remember, don't kill the old woman. She hasn't yeah. done anything wrong. Wasn't there another one? Yes. They must be somewhere in the back. Yeah. Ooh. Hey. Ooh. Nasty. <laughs> the second one was not a mistake. You did that one on purpose. I did. Oh, right. This one goes to the window. thought that was soup or something, but I don't think so. I just see coals. Yeah. That makes sense. Otherwise, this shit's real fucking flammable. Yeah. Damn, I've gotten better. Yeah. Sexy gamer wife. Can game really good. Look, I'm not gonna touch you. You can just go. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Are you gonna give her the pacifying agent? Here, for your nerves. 
No, I'm gonna give give her something to calm her down. Something pretty. Oh. There you go. A sign of my trust. Uh, okay, she doesn't trust me. <laughs> I mean, fair. Yeah. Kind of a kind of a devilish little creature, aren't you? I'm a naughty little boy. You're a naughty little boy. <laughs> Wolf. Ooh, up in the rafters. Ho ho ho. That music's just gonna persist, huh? Oh yeah, because of the old person. Oh hey. That enemy over there looks like it might be special. Hmm. Maybe. I don't think I can reach it from this hole, but I can definitely reach that one. There's another old person in there. Sorry, but they're going to get a heckin' big fright. I didn't think that'd reach me. Ooh. They're fucking your shit up good. Oh, that one burn a bit more. There we go. pretty good at this game, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, you are. Also, the combat's really good in this game. Yeah, it is. So exciting and beautiful and tense. In many ways, it's a really good game and a pleasure to watch. Yeah. Give thumbs up on this video if you agree. I don't think that helped. They didn't like the rice either. feeling that that room over there is a boss? Um, just a little bit. <laughs> it's the dojo. Ashina dojo. Oh. Yeah. Just clearing out some room for the ghosts. Oh, you're doing best. So, I'm guessing they're talking about the person we're probably going to see in here. Yeah. Which means... They have the dragon's blood? That might be a problem.
I've got some money. Let's go ahead and just spend it on spirit emblems. Finally, the fight music ended. Oh, yes. Ashina Elite Jinsuke Saze or says? Um, mm, mm, mm. I think Sabimaru would be good against them because they don't have any armor. I think it would easily poison them. Hmm. Yeah. How do you pronounce that, by the way? The S A Z E? Is that says or like Saze? Uh, Saze? Okay. There it is. Um. Yeah, that should be okay. Yeah. Damn, they're God quick. damn. They are so fucking quick. Yeah. Uh, I'll just die. Let's not waste our revive when I don't know anything about the fight yet. All right, the poison didn't seem to be working. It doesn't seem like they blocked every one of the attacks, though. I'm not sure. I'm gonna try to catch him on fire. Yeah. Yes, it worked. Jesus Christ. Oh, you should maybe take um, poise damage lowering candy. Hmm. Yeah, probably. Because it seems like if I block their huge burst of attacks, it almost breaks my poise. Yeah. Do you think I can get a uh, like chain deflection on that? Do you think I can press the button fast enough? Like... I doubt it. I doubt it's even possible. Mm. Which candy is it? Reduces posture damage. Yeah, this one. I've got three now and 15 in store. Yeah. Oh yeah, that massively improved things. No! I was trying to burn. Should I resurrect this time? I think so, yeah. I think you should also eat the candy again. Oh, yeah. Hold on. I gotta take my candy. There's gotta be, like, you know, like, fair play. Someone needs to take the candy, you just back off. Damn. We fucked them up. Fuck. Whoa, shit. That's new. Oh, you need the candy again. It's your last one. Did you have all you right now? I'm sure you have like a hundred in storage. Not a good idea. Not Oof. a good idea. Should not have done that. I think you should just focus on blocking their attacks. Yeah. Fuck! Yeah. 
Ah, oh, fuck me. Very close. I noticed that even when I was blocking, I was taking damage. Hmm, that may be. Why? It's not elemental. Um, sometimes you just, I think you just, like, sometimes blocking doesn't 100% remove damage hmm. being taken. Fucking hell! Jesus. So quick. Chinsuke. Can I call you Chinsuke? Sase? Sase san? You're quick. I hope I don't run out of sugars. I probably won't. Jesus Christ! <sighs> Quick, little baka, any? Oh, maybe they can't take in? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna wait till I'm done burning them. Oh. Because I'm not gonna do any attacks right now. Oh shit, no, no. Okay, now, candy time. Sip some juice, babe. You know that vine that's like, come get y'all's juice. And it's a prank. And a kid is slips on some grease that the mother put on the ground and he <laughs> goes straight into the oven and breaks the oven door <laughs> that's glass. What the fuck? <laughs> no, I've never seen that. I just did this fight, babe. Yeah. While talking about vines. Oh. Look at that package. Damn. I love my gamer wife. Damn. See, this is the one time the game's like, nah, you know what? This is not going to be blurry. <laughs> Eel liver. Nasty. Shock status abnormality. Been giving me this for a little while, but they haven't given me any shock attacks. Yeah. Oh. Uh, ghosts once lurked the lands of Ashina. The ghost's lightning was of the fountainhead gods, unstoppable by normal means. Avoid ground, reverse the lightning. Hmm. Reverse? I actually saw something interesting on a tip screen during a loading screen. It said something about, like, I think it was pressing right button, so the attack button to, like, shoot lightning back at the, at the like, intercept it in midair and shoot it back at the person who sent it. Oh, oh, this. Yeah, actually, there it is. If one is standing on the ground, lightning surges through them, making movement impossible. But if one is struck while in the air, the lightning can be dispelled from the body and sent at an enemy instead. Oh, so not. You just have to press it before landing, but you have to be in the air. Hmm. If you're stuck okay. on the ground, then you're going to be stuck on the ground. Can't move.
Where should I go? Out the window or? Oh, I guess out the window. <laughs> 